Well, hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to bring y'all along and share our Valentine mantle with y'all. I try to keep it pretty simple, as you can see, adding some coziness. Most of everything I have here is what I already have. The only thing I added for this year is our, just these pink uh, pillar candles that you see here. So I am actually gonna bring y'all in a little closer, show y'all how I decorated, and share a few tips with you as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just the centerpiece. You can see it is, it's actually a little hanging basket, so it can hang on the wall as well, which means it serves as dual purpose. That's what I love about this piece, and I can keep this year after year and use it throughout the seasons. Um, you can see I focused on the greenery, just being simple, soft green. This is faux greenery. I have been better over the years about finding greenery that I can keep again year after year, season after season, and use again and again. So that's what I love about this greenery. Um, just simply place it in the basket and then these little metal hearts I found um, one year at a local store. I just love how they add the sweetness of Valentine's. Um, they have that bold red color to them and I simply place them in um, as you can see, and that brings in the centerpiece to this mantle. Um, if you're wondering about the piece, the wooden piece I have behind it, the wooden arch, I've had that for a long time now. I pretty much keep it here year round and just decorate around it. I love the coziness that it adds. I love that it's wood and it looks uh, old world. And if you're wondering where I got this piece, I actually got it at Kirkland's. They've had it for quite a few years now. They may still have it, so you can go check your local Kirkland's or online and see if they still have the piece if you want. Okay, so now I'm going to focus in a little close on the candles and the little bit of dainty flowers you see here. The right side is the same as the left side, as you saw earlier in the video. I'm going to start with um, the pink pillar. So this is the only thing I purchased for this season. I love that it is light pink and airy and it can be used for Valentine's season and also into the Easter and spring season as well. I did get these at our local Michaels. So if you're liking this size and the color, um, check your local Michaels. Hopefully they still have them. Uh, but I love that that can be used for multiple seasons. Um, the pillar I, I already had you can probably find similar ones out there. You just have to search. And what I like is that makes your style unique. I've had these for a long time. So again, I can use them year after year after year and throughout the seasons. The next one is um, the wooden candlestick holder. I love this. This is one of my favorites. Um, I've had this for a few years now. It was, was purchased at World Market. I don't know if they still have this style, but you can certainly check. But I love that it's a light wood and it has these little gold uh, paint speckles on it. So it makes them look kind of old and vintage. So I did want to share that. And you can see I placed the red candle pillar, not pillar, the red candlestick here. But again, I've got red and pink mixed, which reminds me of Valentine's. And then, of course, um, another pink candlestick here I placed in this gold candlestick holder you see here. And these are... I believe one or two years old. Um, I can't remember, remember where I got them, but you can find candlestick pillar holders everywhere. So I did want to share that. Um, one tip I will share because I had the hardest time trying to make my candlestick stand up. So if you're interested in this little tip, I got a little rubber band and wrapped around it and that actually holds it in place. So that was something I kind of thought up on my own. I don't know if anybody may have already tried it, but that worked to keep it upright and straight. I may have to move it a little bit, but it does help a whole lot. So I just wanted to share that little tip with y'all. The next thing is my little mason jars. I love my mason jars. So if any of you have ever followed me on my Pinterest or Instagram, which is also Bridget's Joy to Home, um, I used to paint signs, and of course, mason jars. I love to DIY paint when I can. I'll just come out and say that. So I hope to be sharing some DIY on here as well. But anyway, these mason jars I've had for a long time. I can use them over and over. You can see how I painted them. Um, distressed the little ball mason there, which I love with my sandpaper. And then I do have a coat over it. Then you add the little 
um, ribbon twine here, the jute ribbon twine, which I have a lot of that. You may see that in my home if you continue to follow me as well. And these pink, oh, I did forget. These pink dainty flowers, I forgot. I did pick up at Michael's. So I actually added the pillar and these flowers. I did, did forget that I added these. So rephrase that. Yes, I did add these as well. So the only two new things I have on this mantle would be the pillar and these little dainty flowers. I think I picked up two, two or three stems. I don't remember about that many and then just separated them in the mason jars. I love how they're dainty. They're pink. They reminds me of that sweet Valentine's feeling. So just wanted to share that with y'all. So now I will um, share with you the bees. I'll talk about those a little bit. So I'm going to um, focus in a little closer on these. Now I will focus in on the red beaded garland. You can see how I hung it in three sections along the mantle and you may know the trick to hanging the garland but just in case you don't it would be the command hook you see how i've placed the command hook there so i have three along the mantle then i simply just insert the garland into the command hook i love the command hooks um, they are great for using during your holiday seasons for lightweight decor of course um, i would definitely look at the weight these command hooks would hold but I did want to share that with y'all. So that is how I hung the red beaded garland. And I love how it just adds a little more red. Um, you notice it is a deep red though, um, to the Valentine's mantle. And then the tassel is really cute on here. It's like a yarn tassel. So I just wanted to share that with y'all as well. So this completes my cozy Valentine mantle. I hope that you were able to pick up some tips and ideas to bring into your home as well. Um, these tips can be used not only on your mantle, but throughout the rest of your home also. Um, I hope you're able to pick up some tips on how to look for pieces or shop for pieces that you can use season after season, year after year, from your lighter tones of creams to lighter tones of wood. I have a little bit darker wood here. Your natural um, things like baskets, and the little um, jute ribbon as well, um, dainty flowers. You're gonna see when I do look for my flowers, I've gotten really good at finding faux flowers that um, look realistic, but again, I can use season after season, year after year, which I showed you with the greenery here. I love this greenery, it's soft green, and it, it does look real. But um, I love that I can use these all throughout the year. And then um, what I love about this is all these pieces can be used again and again, um, except the red hearts are the only thing that says Valentine's. But um, when you add the reds and pinks with the candlesticks and the candle pillars, the little mason jars or any jar you have, you can even use a little plant pot if you want, or a little basket of some sort. And then the flowers, um, those are all just natural items that um, I can keep and use year after year. So I will be sharing my home with y'all. I hope you will come back and find inspiration for more home decor tips. Um, try to keep them simple when I can. Um, I may go a little out during the Thanksgiving Christmas season, but you'll see that later on. But anyway, um, and then I'll have to one day show y'all how I organize my home decor. It is in a small closet. I don't try to keep a whole lot. Um, I used to, but I have actually gotten rid of a lot over the years because my focus now is to keep things that I can use again and again and again. Maybe add a little bit here and there like I did the pillar and the flowers, but that's it. So I wanted to share. Um, I hope y'all will come back and see more and I will see y'all next time. Bye.